Hey, there's been a new update released for Luminar 4. It's uh, version 4.2, and it's a significant update. They added a new tool in there, which is what I wanted to show you today. Just kind of introduce you to it. It's called AI Augmented Sky. And basically what it is, it's a tool for adding objects to your sky. Now you can add your own objects, or you can add the objects that Luminar give us to work with. For instance, like rainbows and airplanes, birds, uh, lightning, uh, just you name it, you can you can do do it. It's it's a, it's a really cool tool, and it's an artificial intelligent tool, so it really works out nice. And there's really nice uh, adjustments with it. They've also added some um, some updates to their portrait tool, as well as some speed increases. We're not going to get into that today, but I just really wanted to introduce you to the AI augmented sky tool today. So it's really cool and it's really fun. So without any further ado, let's jump into it. Well, here we are. The interface looks pretty much the same. Uh, I want to show you the AI Augmented Sky tool because it is really cool. We still have the Sky Replacement tool, but now we have the uh, Augmented Sky tool. So let's click this and open it up. So we have this object selection right here. So let's click on this and see what we have in here. Gosh, we have an Aurora. Let's click on that. Is that cool? There's an Aurora. Okay. And it finds your sky and it places it in there uh, with artificial intelligence. It's pretty cool. Uh, let's find a balloon. Here's a balloon. There we got a balloon. Now, if we wanted to move this balloon, we could come here and click on place object. And it's got this bounding box here so we can resize it. Okay. We can move it, move it around, put it wherever we want it to go. We can, uh, and then we can click place object here again. It gets rid of the bounding uh lines around it and uh, we can relight it okay relight it for the scene which is really cool and then you could make it warmer or cooler depending what you wanted and let's double click to get it back and of course we have a defocus so if you needed to defocus it a little bit depending on your image you might have to defocus it so we have that and we also have a mask refinement tool so It'll, it'll basically, I believe, like tighten up the mask or whatever, or loosen it up, depending. You can adjust this. And if you take it the whole way to the left, it's basically like shutting off your mask there. So this is not an in-depth tutorial, but it's really like a little teaser just to show you what you can do with it. So, hey, there's a balloon right there. So let's, let me go ahead and reset this and get everything reset by double-clicking. Okay, let's try, try another object here. Let's do some birds. All right, so there's birds, okay? Now, of course, we have place object again, so we can, if that's, you don't want them all the way across your image, you can change the size here and, you know, put them wherever you might like. And maybe we want them up in this corner right here, okay? And then, again, you can relight the scene. If you move this to the left, see the birds get darker. If you move it to the right, they kind of blend in more. So you might want them just to be back there in the background a little bit or whatever. You might want them to be out there nice and nice and strong like that okay so that's pretty cool let's try something else here let's try birds too okay and again you can change the size of any of these things but let's go through a few different things here let's see what birds three oh, birds three is really cool so uh let's go place object and maybe make those guys a little bit smaller and again yeah, where do we want to put them maybe coming off over this way a little bit here and again, let's play with this relight here. So right now, the, this relight's all the way to the left, so they're dark. Now watch when I start to move this to the right. See how they kind of lighten up there a little bit? So you can get them adjusted into your scene just the way you like. And again, there's a, the defocus here if you want to defocus. Depending on the image, you may want them out of focus. They might be in a distance. Say like your heels in a distance were out of focus. You might need to out, you know, take these guys out of focus. Again, it's not an in-depth tutorial, but I just want you to see the different things you can do here. Okay. And then we have, let's try clouds. Well, we can add clouds to our sky, so we can add some additional clouds, and that's pretty cool, right? And uh, click on place objects so we can move these guys around. We can relight them to fit our scene, which is really nice, and change their size. So, pretty cool stuff, right? Luminar, you're getting kind of exciting here. If you weren't exciting already, you're really getting exciting, okay? So this is a lot of fun. So there's that. There's clouds one. Let's just sample some more clouds two. Again, we can resize them. 
but you get the point. Oh, that's a nice looking cloud here. And again, you can see where it says load custom images. You can load your own custom images. And, and the way I understand it, I think they have to be like a PNG file, like a, a file without like uh, transparency around it. So it's just going to, you know, go right onto the image there. So it has to be a PNG file. Uh, very important. Um, we'll get into this more later. But again, this is an introduction. Let's try some more clouds here. Well, that's really cool. So... And it, with that artificial intelligence, it does a really nice job. And let's try some more clouds. Give you guys an idea what's here. Some more clouds. Place object. Maybe move it around. Move it over here. Change its size. Yeah, let's make it smaller. Maybe, again, re we can relight it. To fit the scene, that's really cool. Let's go ahead and reset this. And let's see, let's try clouds eight. There's clouds eight. And now let's get into an eagle. We have an eagle here. Hey, that's pretty cool. Fly, eagle, fly. Let's click place object. Where do we want the little eagle to be? Oh, he's kind of flying into the scene. See, I can't get him down into the water. He can only be in the sky. So he's destined for the sky. And again, I can make him smaller. Okay, and I can, uh, I don't want to defocus him, but I can relight him. I can make him stronger, or I can make him blend into the scene more with this relight. We can warm him up. That might be cool. Just warm him up a little bit here. And the amount. Okay, so then the amount is the overall. You can fade him as well with this. So you can make him more into the atmosphere coming out or whatever. So that's really cool. So there's an eagle. Pretty cool stuff, right? And we even have fireworks. Of course, it'd be nice to have a night sky for the fireworks, but we have fireworks. And let's see what other kind of fireworks we have. We have three fireworks. There's the second one. Let's try another one. Where am I at here? Yeah, another one. Okay, so what else do we have? We have a giraffe. Hmm. This is fun. I need a giraffe, like, coming right behind this mountain. Like, this is a huge, tall giraffe. I mean, this is uh, kind of like from Jurassic Park or something like that. It's pretty cool, right? Of course, I can make him smaller just by clicking on here and, you know, whatever. But there's a giraffe. But you can see the possibilities here, right? Uh, really, really fun. Let's try some lightning. Uh, look at the lightning. Isn't that sweet? And look how the lightning goes behind the mountain there. It's pretty cool. Even the tree. So the artificial intelligence is really, really nice. And that's really cool. And then we can relight the scene like that. Or we might want to like pull the amount back a little bit here. Not make it quite as strong, but really kind of realistic. I really like this. Boy, this is exciting. I'm going to have a lot of fun with this. Um, and I, I'm sure you are too. Let's try another lightning. There's some more lightning there. Now this lightning, we, went, we might want to like bring it up like so. Like come up, you know, from the top of the scene maybe. Like that. So that's pretty cool. So some really cool stuff in here. Okay, so we have lightning. We have the moon. Ah, oh, the moon. And now... You know, we could have it coming up over the horizon. We could, again, we could change its size. Whatever you want to do there. It's pretty cool. Relight it. Pretty neat. So we have the moon. We have two different moons. Okay, got to click on place object to move it around. And let's go ahead and make it smaller. Put it up in there. Place objects, and we can see, oh, that's really cool. So, a lot of fun. And let's go through a few more. We have mountains here. It'll throw mountains in the background. Um, wouldn't work on this scene because it's already got mountains, but that's pretty cool. What else do we have? We have different types of mountains. Got my mount turned down here, so don't see it as much. Uh, let's uh, try another mountain here. Again, the mountain won't work with this scene, but I want you to see what the mountains look like. So, some really, really cool stuff. And here's the fourth mountain here. Nice. 
And let's see what else we got. We have an airplane. Okay, that's fun. We got this airplane here. And let's see, we can relight him. Okay. So pretty, pretty fun stuff. Maybe give him a little defocus. Something like there. That's kind of cool. But can you see the possibilities here? Then we have another plane, a plane coming right at us. And what else do we got here? I just want you guys to see all this stuff. That's why I'm taking my time going through here. We have a planet. And we have, uh, we have four planets. So cool. So we can make some fantasy type images. Cool stuff, right? Some of that Star Wars type look. There's Saturn. Fun stuff for the night sky. And here's rainbows. Isn't this cool? I love this rainbow when I started playing around with this. But look at that. We can throw a rainbow in our image here. And then we can um, adjust the amount if we just want to have it lightly in there. So really, really cool stuff. So there's that rainbow. And then we also have the, the big rainbow. So that's kind of fun right there. I think I'll go back to the first rainbow. I really like this one a lot. This one's cool. And so, maybe right about there, let's maybe adjust the lighting here a little bit on this. Play with the warmth, get it looking just right. The amount, maybe take it up. Maybe not quite a full 100%, but maybe right around there. And I think the focus looks good. So, there it is, the AI Augmented Sky inside of Luminar 4. This is going to be a lot of fun. Let me know what you think about this new tool. Can you see the possibilities for it? Well, there you have it. Uh, the new update for Luminar version 4.2. Uh, if you already have Luminar uh, 4, go ahead and get that update. If you don't, hey, use my coupon code and use the link I provide you uh, below the video here and go ahead and get a $10 savings on Luminar 4. This is a great uh, piece of software, I'll tell you what, and this is a great update, and I hope this piqued your interest. I wanted to go through all the different objects so you could really see the possibilities, and don't forget you can add your own objects as well. And don't forget there's other updates uh, to this to this update as well or other things got updated like the portrait tool and some speed adjustments and, and some other things as well so hey i hope you enjoyed this tutorial today if you did please give it a like and share it with your friends if you're not yet a subscriber to my channel please subscribe and click the bell notification icon and then every time i upload a new tutorial you'll be notified about it